Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today, yes, I have another intro for you. This is Beauty A to Z. It is a Fantastic Ladies collab, part of the Facebook group. But once we are live with it on January 1st, which this is going up after January 1st, it is open to anyone that wants to join in. I want to say this is year six or seven. I, I, I don't know why I can't ever remember the dates. It's just, it's been around a long time. It is a year long project. Basically the idea is you pick one product for every letter of the alphabet. If your alphabet has different characters, different letters, you can use those as well. This is just the one that we put in the group, but expand on it however you want. I love seeing it when people do that. And this year I am not doing a whole eyeshadows. I want to finish a lot of stuff in this calendar year. So I did not want to burden myself with having too many things that were going to be a conflict with one another. So there is all sorts of stuff. There's makeup, there's hair care, skin care, body care, you name it. I have it in here and I have all 26 products to show you. I'm going to try to go through these fairly quickly because it's a lot. And when I do my updates, I will only be updating stuff that actually will have progress. So I'm giving you all 26 now, but my update, I might only talk about five different things. If I haven't used the other ones, there's no point in talking about them again. So let's get this show on the road. The first one is for letter A. I chose the Act and Acre Cold Processed Scalp Renew. I'm going to have a lot of scalp things that I'm trying this year, testing them out. This is one of them that I got in PR within the last few months. So I want to give this a try and hopefully I like it enough that I can actually finish it. Everything that I have in this project, I have it in here to finish. So hopefully I'm not going to keep saying that with every item since that is my goal for everything. Moving on to the letter B, I have the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. There's a lot of B's there and I am starting a little bit below this line. I'm going to have to mark it because I have used it since it's been in a project. Either that or my lines washed off. I'm not really sure, but but I think that's going to be pretty easy to get done. All right, moving on to the letter C, I have the Sephora Clarifying Toner. It is brand new. It was recently sent to me, and I don't think this is going to be a problem. For the letter D, I have a couple of Ds in this one. It is the Texture ID Dry Hair and Scalp Relief. It is a pre-shampoo scalp treatment, and you can see it still has the tape on it from when it was shipped to me. For the letter E, I'm going with Essence. This is the Soft Touch Mousse makeup. It is a foundation and this is in 01 matte sand. I did hit pan on this last year. So now it is time to just finish this one off. For the letter F, we have the Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. This is just a deluxe sample that I got with some stuff that I ordered on Black Friday. So yeah, I don't think that one's going to last very long. And then for the next letter, which is G, if I could possibly turn it the right way, this is the Sephora Glow Peel Pads. These kind of, um, it's like a daily maintenance for peels. If you don't want to do a harsh peel, that's kind of what you would use. And I have used other brands. I have not used the Sephora brand, so I'm kind of excited to try those. Moving on to the letter H, I have the Glow Recipe Strawberry B. HA Pore Smoothing Blur Drops. It is a serum. I'm kind of interested to, to see how these work because I have heard that does kind of mask large pores, which I have being an oily girl. So we'll see about that. It is just a small size, a deluxe, and it's only 10 mils. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. And for the letter I, a brand that I have not tried yet. This was also recently sent in PR. This is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. From my understanding, from what I read on this, it actually works as like a first step to a double cleanse. At least that's what my impression was because it says helps remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin. So I feel like I would use this first and then probably wash my face with a different cleanser. Moving on to the letter J, I have the Josie Marin Argan Apothecary intensive daily repair body butter. It's good for like eczema and stuff like that. I had this in a project, not last year, but the year before. And I started working on it towards the end of the cold season. So I was not able to finish it. I will weigh this, but you can see how much is in there. I would say there's probably at least three quarters of product in here. So it is still going to take me a long time. And this thing is heavy because it is glass and yeah, I don't want to have to lift weights with that too much. On to the letter K. I have the Not Your Mother's Kids. That's where my K comes in. K 
curly care detangler with mango butter. I'm hoping it works as well as the one that I normally have, which is the Not Your Mother's Naturals line, Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Detangler. I don't know if it's the same. I bet they probably don't smell the same, but you never know. They don't smell the same, but they smell very similar. So I'm wondering if, if it works the same way, I might actually switch to this because the one that is marketed for kids is a little bit less expensive, but who knows, it may not work the same. We'll have to wait and see. For the letter L, I am bringing something back from last year. It was not in Beauty A to Z. It was in my 23 in 2023. This little guy right here, and this is the LA Colors Lip Liner Pencil in Sienna. It is tiny. There's not a lot left, but I just need to get it done this year. I mean, it's only worth three bucks, but still, I want to get it done. I worked on it really hard last year. It was one of those really long pencils, and I just was not able to complete it. I am getting it done this year. For the letter M, I have another Essence product. This is the Get Big Lashes Triple Black Mascara, and the M is because it is a mascara, and it has mascara on there. And this is one that... While I'm putting it in here, I'm probably not going to be talking about it very much because you can't really track your progress on there. I mean, every now and again, I can say, yeah, I've started using it. And then a few months later, I can say, it is getting close to being done. It's not quite there. My prediction is it'll be next update, something along those lines, but it's not something I'm gonna talk about every single update because it's boring. For the letter N, we have Cream of Nature. That's where my end comes in. This is the Argan Oil from Morocco Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. Still has the tape on it from shipping and I will be putting that on the back burner because I am working on another foaming mousse right now and then I will get to that one when the other one is done. For the letter O, I have a big thing right here. This is the Avon Skin So Soft Bath Oil in the original scent. So we have the O in oil and original, and that is going to take me the whole entire year. For the letter P, Pacifica. This is the Scalp Love Rosemary Mint Serum. I've heard good things about this. I'm very excited to use that. This is my year to really play with a whole bunch of different scalp stuff. I kind of started towards the end of last year and I'm picking it up again this year. I'm on the quest to find like just the right thing for my scalp. We are starting to get into the hard letters Q. I chose from Jessica Nails the Quick Dry. It is a 60 second nail dryer. It is, they kind of look like oil drops. I'll have to show you here, but um, they, they don't work like a top coat. You like drop it on and it kind of spreads out over your nail naturally. And there's something in this that actually dries your top coat or your nail polish or whatever you're working with. And I'm excited for it. I've had this in the past. It was very hard for me to find here in the States. And then my friend Claire, she is from the UK. She sent it to me like a couple years ago. I can't remember. And I haven't used it and I want to show it some love. So it is in this project. And one of the things you guys helped me decide on in my Help Me Decide series in December was that big bag of rice powder from Coastal Scents. And I took your suggestion and I decided for the letter R to bring in the Coastal Scents rice powder, but only enough to fit in this old Essence powder container. It does not have the sifter on it. I just filled it up as much as I could. She's pretty darn full. And when this is empty, I'm just gonna consider the letter R done for this project. And I think that, I don't wanna say it's gonna be easy, but it's not gonna be hard as maybe some other things because rice powder is so easy to use. For the letter F, another Sephora product. This one is in French on that side, in English on this side. This is the Clarifying Peel Pads. Again, it works much like other peel pads that I've used in the past. So I do have two things of peel pads in this project and that's okay because there's only 65 in them. I don't think it's gonna take me the whole year to get, what is that, 130 pads done. Moving on to the letter T, I'm bringing in some tea tree oil. This is pure tea tree oil from Puritan's Pride. And this thing is big. This is significantly larger than most essential oils. 
I don't have one right in front of me, but this one is 20 mLs, and I wanna say most are five or 10 mLs. So this one is pretty big, and it is going to be primarily used as skincare, though I do sometimes use it in my hair care. For the letter U, I got another Ulta Beauty product. This is just a green color corrector, and yeah, I just got this on Black Friday. Still has the plastic on it and everything, but I have used one of those in the past and I'm sure that I can get it done. For the letter V, another Sephora product. Let me get you the official name because that's where the V is. It is the Tint and Volume Brow Gel and this is in the color Taupe. I'm gonna open this up so you can see what that wand looks like. It reminds me a lot of the, the one from Benefit, the one from Essence. The, the wand is very similar to that, so hopefully. I don't know, it's, it's pretty big, but hopefully I can get that one done. For the letter W, I wish I had had this in for all of last year, but I just got it for Black Friday. This is Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple, and it is brand new, it is very full. I don't know if I can get it done in the year, but I'm gonna try because I am working on a body lotion, a body cream, and a shower gel in this scent. I already finished one of the lotions and it would be nice to have a fragrance to pair with those. So winter candy apple, wish me luck on that one. Only three more products to go for the letter X. This one was a little bit harder, but NYX, NYX, however you want to say it, that is where my X comes in. This is the concealer in a jar and this is the shade lavender. I probably have a little more than half to go on this, but if this year it was any indication, I'm gonna need it because unlike some people they get dark circles under their eyes when they're tired, I get like kind of a yellow tinge to my under eye area and the lavender actually helps like cancel that out. I also will sometimes get some yellowing on my eyelids when I'm really tired, like the whole area. And I will use that under my brow area to kind of brighten that up and take that yellowness away. So I think it's gonna be a challenge, but it's gonna be a fun challenge. All right, last two products for the letter Y, not your mother's. And this is not the Naturals line. This is the Curl Talk line, and this is their Scalp Mist. Have not tried it yet, but I'm excited to try it because it says it's refreshing, and my scalp needs something refreshing, and we'll just have to see how it goes. I don't know if I can see through this or not. I will have to look after I'm done filming. If I can't see through it, then I will weigh it. And the very last thing is from Jan Marini for the letter Z. This is the Clean Zyme. So that is two words, Clean Zyme, Z-Y-M-E. I'm sure this is like an enzymatic cleaner and it just says face cleanser on it. It is not that big, it is only four ounces, but it is still gonna take me quite a while, especially since I'm working on some other facial cleansers. But I thought it would be really nice to have with the inky list as like the two-step, having both of them in this project together. And we'll see how that works out for me this year. That is everything A to Z right here. I am very excited to get started on these products. I did not touch anything until I was ready to film. And I am filming this like at the very end of December. There's not really anything I need to use before the first of the year because everything that I have here that I could potentially use, I already have something just like it in another project already because I have a lot of rollover projects. So nothing is going to get used until the first of the year. So I will mark, weigh, and do all the things that I need to do with these products before I start to use them, take pictures if I can remember, and then go from there. Definitely go check out everyone else's joined in. They're gonna be listed down below. I would say the creators are listed down below, but I was one of the creators for this. And Amanda, and she doesn't even post anymore, so just ignore my link down there since I'm already right here. But go check out other people that have joined into this project. And like I said, if you wanna join in, it's open to every single person that wants to join in. It doesn't really matter to us if you're part of the Facebook group. We completely understand that there's a lot of people that do not have extraneous social media and don't want to be on Facebook or Instagram or anything else. If you want to post your updates in my comments down below, that's cool too. We have a lot of people that do that. And I guess that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.